everyone welcome to my channel code with sunny and today i'm going to discuss the problem design circular q index number is 622 and the problem is of medium type of lead code okay so let's discuss the problem now as the question says we have to design a circular q okay so circular q is basically a first in first out uh, operation uh, it works on the first in first out operation principle where there the circular q is represented by a data linear data structure and uh, there are uh, functions that needs to be implemented for the circular queue also and uh, what does this circular queue is going to do here this is may, uh, this is going to be important like suppose we have to push some elements and pop the uh, pop some elements uh, dynamically at during the run time this circular queue is very much efficient uh, rather than using a queue directly okay so how we are going to implement these functions that is you can see front function rear and in queue and dq is empty and is full note that there are definitions given over here that is front and front for, that is when we call the front function what does it going to do and what uh, what is this function is going to do that is when we are calling the rear function and in queue and dq also i am going to tell the entire thing uh, when i am going to explain this problem that is how we are going to implement this my circular queue class with the help of example okay so let's head over to the example to analyze how, what should be the best solution to implement this my circular queue class also i am going to explain what is this my circular queue or you can say circular queue in the data structures okay so let's head over to the example okay you can see i have just uh, written down uh, example where my circular queue is a constructor that is called uh, called with a size as the parameter you can see 3 and in queue operation in queue which pushes an element into the circular queue and rear is the rear function is basically uh, uh, that is fetching an element that is present at its rear side of the circular queue and is full is going to check as the name suggests whether the circular queue is going to be full or not and dq is going to suggest whether okay dq is going to do when we are going to just uh, pop an element from the front of the uh, circular queue okay and in queue is again pushing an element in the rear uh, rear end of the queue and the rear function is getting the element from the rear end of the queue if it exists okay and there is also one function that is called front and in this example i have not taken that and front function is going to just fetch that element that is present at the front end of the queue okay and if that element exists then it is going to do that if not then we have to return minus 1 okay so let's understand this concept first circular queue okay first let me erase this stuff okay so you can see in the in the data structures we have one queue like we have a linear queue like this and in this case uh, that when we have when we want to push some element the element goes over there when we again want to push some element it goes over there and we again want to push some element it goes over there and we, when we want to pop some element the element uh, this element goes eliminated and it uh, that is front end of the queue lies here that is uh, we are talking about queue first in first out okay so front end of the queue lies over here and when we want to again pop some of pop uh, pop an element from the queue then this front goes out and this uh, element becomes the front end of the queue now one thing that is noticeable here is uh, even when the uh, when we do then added implementation of this linear queue the I'm, note that i'm talking about linear queue when we do the implementation of this uh, linear queue with the help of an array you can see some elements uh, that are going to be uh, that are going to be like some array elements at the beginning of the array will remain vacant even if uh, my front reaches over there okay then we can say there is a uh, memory that we want more memory to implement this uh, linear queue but in case of circular queue there is much benefit over there and what is that benefit there are two pointers that is front front pointer and uh, rear pointer you can easily see when we uh, <coughs> when we use the Uh, you can say when we use the array implementation of this circular queue it will be like uh, this one let me uh, draw an array like that okay now you can see initially i have front over here and rear end over here that is it is going to denote uh, there is not an element is still present in the queue and when we uh, in queue that is push an element into the, into the queue this rear part goes vanished and it will be like there and when we when we again push some element rear part goes over there and it will, it will go to that part okay now when we want to pop some element okay so when we want to pop some element my front end part that is you can see this front goes over that is it is going to be vanished over there and my front goes over here 
and now again let us suppose we want to push three more elements to the this circular queue when we are when we are going to push three more elements to this circular queue then what will happen it will be like uh, okay so let me write this rear part goes vanished and rear part goes to this after one element is pushed and then rear part goes up to this when one more element is going to be pushed okay and uh, what about when we want to push one more element when we want to push one more element you can see i am at the end of the array but uh, still we can push some more element because as we have already maintained two pointers it is going to basically denote my original queue is going to start from here when my original queue is going to start from here my rear end pointer if we want to push one more element this will go up to go from there to here that is it is basically like you have some we you have some circle and when when you are at here and let's say again you are at here and let's say again you are at here and let's say again you are at here and when uh, when we want to come at this point and if this is vacant yes i can easily come at this point so this is what the circular queue is going to do with the linear array implementation that is it is going to use two pointers front and rear and as front also goes to the right and rear also goes to the right as we have some more uh, in queue operations as well as d queue operations okay so this is basically the concept of circular queue and let's uh, head over to this example that is to understand this example in detail okay so let's move further okay so here is the example that i need to explain over there how it is going to be implemented using the circular queue okay so basically the size of circular queue is already fixed it is 3 so let's uh, maintain an array of size maximum size is 3 okay so let's uh, that is uh, here it is given the maximum size of circular queue is going to be 3 so let us uh, make an array this is an array or you can also make a vector so let's uh, write over the indices of the array 0 1 2 and what i am going to do to maintain the circular queue as i have already said i am going to maintain two pointers front and rear pointers okay so for now let us initialize my front pointers and rear pointers to the beginning of the array that is at zero okay and also i am going to have one uh, uh, okay so also i am going to have one more variable that is length that is going to denote what is the number of elements that is currently present in the queue now it is zero okay now okay so let's uh, head over to some more that is in queue and in uh, d queue operations okay now you can see i have to in queue one element that is one when i want to in queue one element so my rear pointer that is it should be uh, in queued at the rear end so i am just putting this one at this rear end that is one now if i am going to put this at rear end that is uh, my rear pointer should must be incremented to its next index so what is the my new rear index my new rear index would be like front okay so i am just going to erase this one and write the new front and rear end indexes okay so my front index is still at this point and rear index at this point so at any time when rear index is going to be at there it is going to denote yes we can put that element when in queue operation is going to be called at the rear index position okay uh, okay so i have i think i have forgotten one thing to mention initially i am going to just to maintain fill up the entire array with minus 1 why i have to fill up the min with minus 1 the reason is quite simple because uh, just i am going to just to denote that when whenever we encounter some array element as minus 1 it is going to say that this element is is still not filled in my currently circular queue current circular queue that i have maintained over there okay so okay so my first operation in queue is done now i have to move to move to second operation which is again in queue operation you can see i have to in queue 2 when i want to in queue 2 it will be in queued at the rear end so that is at this one so i need to uh, okay so i need to push this element at the rear end when i want to push this element at the rear end my element will be 2 now again and if this element is going to be 2 my rear pointer should increment to its next index when my rear pointer should be incremented to the next index it would be like this one rear pointer okay you can see i have again uh, again some in queue operation that is this one which is in queuing the number 3 when i want to in queue the number 3 you can easily see i would be like doing at this position so when i want to do at this position that is this one and my rear pointer will be again changed and it will be again moved to the next index and what is the next index of the array you can easily see next index of the array is out of the bound of the array then it will be again initialized to this one that is modulus the size okay 
now one thing i have also forgotten to mention over that is my length is always going to be incremented by one length plus plus whenever i have in q operation and whenever i have dq operation you can see uh, that is going to be remove one element so i need to decrement my length variable count okay that is length minus minus okay now you can see i have as i've already done three of in q operations i need to now move to further operations of on this array and what are the further operations on this array you can see rear rear is going to basically uh, rear end is going to basically uh, uh, fetch that element that is recently pushed into the queue okay and so what is the recently pushed element into the queue so it is nothing but basically when we have some rear pointer r uh, denoting at certain index i need to just uh, subtract r minus that is i need to do r equals r minus 1 then this pointer is goes to there and fetch that element and then again increment my r to its next index so my output would be 3 okay that is subtract uh, subtract rear index that is by 1 and then fetch that element then again increment rear index by 1 okay so let's uh, move to another operation you can easily see i am going to just have is full uh, okay so is full is basically checking whether my circular queue is full or not you can easily check with the help of length variable now if uh, front and rear end is going to coincide and the number uh, then the all the elements are going to be full my queue is already fulfilled so also you can check if length is going to match exactly with the initial value of the constructor in the parameterized form is 3 that is the parameter that is part exactly matching with 3 i can say the my circular queue is full now okay so it is going to basically return true and false and again i have a dq operation now this is going to be very important so what that uh, this dq operation is going to do now you can easily see that this dq operation is going to basically pop an element from the front end okay so when i go, when i am going to pop an element from the front end it would be like to just eliminate this one so when we are going to eliminate this one we are going to do uh, two things and what are the these two things we need to understand it now okay so basically we are going to erase this one and when we are going to pop an element from the front end it would be like just uh, when we are when we are going to just uh, eliminate this one my this uh, array index element is going to be filled with minus 1 and uh, does any change in pointer takes place or not yes it will takes place because uh, just i have uh, erased this front in front index that is uh, element of the array that is pre present at the front pointer it would be like my front pointer is will be next move to this position that is my queue starts from here now and in set this point r is going to basically denote that this is going to be the new rear end if certain element is going to be pushed or not okay now again we have some in queue operations this says that we need to push some element into the queue when you want to push some element in the queue it would be like you can easily see i want to push some element in the queue that is this should be replaced at this rear end so what should be my next element that should be pushed you can easily see i should push the element 4 when i want to push some the element 4 it should be like yes push the element 4 and change the rear index and what is my my new rear index you can easily see my new rear index would be like uh, this one front and rear is again going to coincide now again i want the rear element when i want the rear element just subtract to rear minus 1 and just check okay so subtract here minus 1 and if it exists that is you can also say is my queue is going to be non empty then only we can do this operation so just fetch this element 4 and again increment this r index to back its original index okay so these are the basic uh, operation that needs to be done in the queue okay so let's head over to the code to analyze the implementation in detail okay so let's move further okay so here is the code of this implementation of uh, my circular queue class you can see okay so i have defined i have commented something to uh, explain something in better you can see front is going to denote the front of the queue that is front pointer rear variable is going to denote rear end of the queue sz is going to denote maximum size of the circular queue that is this is going to be something like global variable okay when i have taken some parameterized constructor like k as the value of the maximum size of circular queue just i have assigned sz So that is k. That is sz equals k. Okay. 
and len is going to denote current length of the queue that is that i am going to maintain my circular queue okay so just i have taken this value also this vector int circular queue is going to be the like a linear representation of the circular queue and here i have my circular queue class okay and sj equals to k and front is 0 and rear end is 0 initially both are assigned to the same pointer and fill minus 1 by default denoting that now uh, no nothing no one element is uh, filled now okay now let's move further now this in queue operation okay so it will be better to first discuss the is full and uh, is empty function okay so if length is going to be zero just return true that is uh, my current uh, queue is going to be empty otherwise return false okay length is basically the current length of the circular queue that is being maintained okay and is full is doing the same thing like if length is going to be equal to sj maximum size of the circular queue that is going to be given then return true otherwise return false okay now let's discuss the in queue and dq operation in front and rear in in queue operation i need to push an element in the queue so if the my uh, already queue that is maximum size of the queue is already achieved then i cannot push an element again in the queue so i am going to check if it is full then return false i cannot push the uh, new element into the queue otherwise increment the size of the circular queue that is my current length current size of the circular queue and circular queue that is uh, then i am going to push the uh, element into the my current circular queue which is be, which would be basically circular queue of rear exactly equal to value assign that and increment my rear pointer and i need to take rear mod equals sj why i am going to do that because uh, sometimes like uh, rear end is going to go out of the bound of the array so my next index for that rear would be like zero okay so i need to take modulus over that okay otherwise uh, okay so in this case i am going to return true because in queue operation is going to be done and now there is a dq operation like if there is an empty that is my current circular queue is going to be empty just return false i cannot pop an element from the queue otherwise decrement this length because one element is going to be popped out and just if that element is going to be popped out my circular queue front will become minus 1 and front should be assigned to its next index and in this case i am going to return true that is going to denote yes popping operation is done here, over there okay now i have a uh, i have a front function <coughs> now i have a front function you can see that is going to uh, basically tell if the the queue is going to be empty just return minus 1 that is you cannot have uh, any front element present over the queue and uh, you can easily see it. in this case i am going to return circular queue of front and there is a rear function also that if uh, uh, is if my queue is going to be empty just return minus 1 otherwise uh, i need to uh, give the element of rear in so index should be rear minus 1 as a as i previously explained how this is going to be done as in and uh, you can easily see if index is going to be negative i need to add sj over that because that uh, new index is coming to the back end of the uh, my array okay so i need to take care of this also okay just to return the circular queue of index so this is basically the entire implementation so let's submit this code and check it out if this is going to work fine or not yes it is good so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to a youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video